Again, don't worry about that B is greater than zero stuff, or if B is not, or that B has to not be zero. Logarithms is, uh, this is just a, it's really just a different way to write exponential values. So that's what this means here. Uh, this log stuff means this. And we do use this in a different order. Usually we have something like y equals something. Uh, but in this case, it's kind of like the value of x is depending on the exponent. So we have the b for base, and then the exponent y that equals x. This goes both ways. So, I mean, you can start with a logarithm and change it into an exponential function, like this one. Or you can start with the exponential function and change it into the logarithm. Now, this is... Well, math people, when they discovered this whole method, loved it so much, as they love all the math, which is not so ironic. But um, they ran into problems, right? Like if you said 3 to the power of x equals 81, yeah, you could find that. And you could find it, well, kind of quick if you know your base 3s. But if we said 3 to the power of x equals 30, now, this is where it gets kind of tricky, right? I mean, if we misconceive this notion right here, then we can say, well, maybe x is 10, right? 3 times 10, but it's not 3 times 10. It's 3 to some power, and this is going to give us uh, an irrational number right there, okay? So you may know that it'd be 3 point something, but um, we just don't know what that exact value is, which is why we have calculators even though back in the day we had to use charts. Yeah, sorry, yeah, the logarithm thing, right? So this is, is an exponential form. So if I were to change this into logarithm format, then I can solve for that exponent, right? So I've got uh, my base, which is 3. So this is going to become a log with a base of 3. And the answer is 30. Sometimes they put that in parentheses, sometimes they don't. And then it would equal the exponent, which in this case is x. Maybe I should have used y so it kind of looks the same on that. It, it doesn't matter what that variable is. So 3 to the power of y equals 30. Now, see, I have a value that is y now. All right. Now, we've expressed it in exact terms because it's exactly the log base 3 of 30. Um, but if we put this into a calculator, it would give us some kind of ugly decimal. And that's why, of course, math people loved it, because then they can calculate things much faster. Uh, let's start with A right here. <clears throat> so the way that's written, right, that would be uh, the X would be the 81. The base is the 3. And the exponent is the Y. So B to the power of Y equals X. So we're going to change this into a logarithm. So it's a y. Well, let's, let's write that out. I used parentheses on that last one, but it's not necessary that we do. Um, okay. Well, I can see from this expression that the base is 3, right? The base, the 3 is in the base position, so that's where uh, our base goes, right there. And then the exponent is the 4, which is the y value. So I'll just change that to a 4. And the x value is the 81. So I'll just replace x with uh, 81. That's it. That's up. No calculation on that. All we wanted was the logarithmic function on this one. Let's try this next one. So it has to be equal to log base something, right? Uh, what is the base on this one? Two. Two. Yep. Bam. And uh, it's log base two of... So make that red, right? And again, it can go in parentheses. It doesn't have to. What value goes in the parentheses here? Very good. One-eighth. And then this would equal the exponent, which was negative 3. That's it. All 
All right, now we'll change these into exponential form. So we got our base on these ones. The base is, sorry, that I should mention this is, uh, this is how this would read. A would read log base 4 of 64 equals 3. So we've got a base there of 4. Now it equals 3. That's the exponent in the exponential form. So it's an exponent of 3. Then this equals whatever the log was of, which was the 64 right there. Now, did we need that 64? We technically did not need it because we could type 4 to the power of 3 into the calculator and we would get 64. In any case, that is the uh, way we would write that logarithm as a exponential form. Okay, let's try B then. That's going to be equal to something. Once again, we've got a base with the log of 5. And it would have an exponent. It's whatever the log equals, which is this negative 3 here. And then it, the exponent would equal whatever it's the log of. And that's 1 over 125. So if, if we were to change 5 to the power of negative 3 into a fraction on that, we would get 1 over 5 to the power of positive 3, which is 1 over 125. So th that just confirms that they're the same. Write the equation in logarithmic form. Assume that all constants are positive, not equal to 1. Okay. Well, we're going to make this um, equal to some kind of log on this one. And the base for this is 3. The exponent is 7. And then it would be the log of whatever the exponent equals. Again, if you want to put parentheses on it, that's fine, 2187. Uh, but again, it's not required, so um, as long as we know that 3 is not part of the whatever that uh, log is of. What I mean by that is, uh, you know, if you put the 3 right there, then it looks different, okay? So don't do that. Just keep it right there. Write the equation in logarithmic form. Assume that all constants are positive, not equal to 1, whatever. All right, you guys take a moment and try this one. All right. Uh, what number goes to the left of the equal sign on this one? What did you guys put right there? One half. Very good. And then what is the base of the log? 121. Very good. It's the same base for the exponent, by the way, right? I used the wrong color on that one. And it's the log of... 11. That's it. All right, we'll change this one into logarithmic form. So we'll run through this one. It's a log, of course. And the base is the base for the exponent as well. So base 25. The exponent <coughs> is what the log equals. So in this case, negative 2. And then whatever the exponent equals, that is what it is the log of. So 1 over 625. <coughs> Any questions? Fill in each box below with an integer or a reduced fraction, which is all we have anyways. A, log base 3 of 1 ninth equals negative 2 can be written in the form 3 to the power of A equals B, where A equals, of course that would be the exponent um, from this expression, which is what the log equals. So A is negative 2. And then B, that's, um, it's not B for base in this case, it's... Um, the exponent equals whatever it's the log of, and in this case, that would be one-ninth. 
technically we kind of had a 50-50 chance of getting that right. A third if you include the base, but uh, hopefully we didn't get that far. All right, part B, log base 5 of 3,125 equals 5. can be written in the form. 5 to the power of C equals D. So again, C is the exponent, which is what the log equals. That's 5. And then whatever it's the log of, that is what the exponent equals. So that'd be 3,125. Convert the exponential equations into logarithmic form. Uh, so they've changed these already kind of for us. 3 to the power of 5 equals 243 is equivalent to log base 3 of C equals D. So C is what the exponential part equals, and that is 243. Uh, D, the log, is uh, going to equal the exponent which is, in this case, 5. All right, so on part B, 1,296 equals 6 to the power 4 is equivalent to log base 6 of E equals F. So what is the value of E? It did kind of switch it there, so be careful, right? So 4 is the exponent on this one, right? In the exponential form. So that's what the log will always equal. So the f would be 4 in this case. Uh, and the log of, right, log base 6 of e, that's what the exponential form equals, which is 1,296. <clears throat> Fill in each box below with an integer or a reduced fraction. Same idea on these ones, except for they're not giving us the base on these anymore, which that should be OK. Um, the base, right, this is base 9, so it's the base of the exponent, that's A. Now, whatever the log of, right, because this is of 3, that's what the exponential form equals, which in this case is C, so it would be 3 right there. And the log will always equal the exponent, which in this case is B, at 1 half, right? So in part B, once again, we've got a base in the log of 2, and that would be the D value, 2. Uh, then whatever the log is of, which in this case is 1 16th, that's what the exponential form equals, which in this case is F at 1 16th. Uh, then the exponent is what the log equals, is negative 4, that's our exponent E at negative 4. Now again, you could check this. 2 to the power of negative 4 does it equal 1 over 16. And uh, you know, if you tested those two values, you would find that they're the same. 2 to the power of negative 4 will eventually become 1 over 16. So uh, that just confirms that we did it correctly. Write the equation in exponential form, assume that all constants are positive and not equal to 1. Log base 4, now oh, there's our base, 4. Uh, then it's going to be equal to 3, so that's going to be our exponent. That's going to equal that 64 right there. Now, this is, um, I don't know how relevant this is, but in my mind when I do this, all I'm doing is I'm taking that 4 and moving it over there, and then I just know the 3 is an exponent. I don't, I don't know if that helps. Some people do like some hand motions. I, know, I don't know what that means or how to do it, so sorry. All right, on this one, uh, let's just, I guess, kind of look at what I was talking about on the last one. I'm going to move that 625 over here, and I, then I just know that that 1 fourth is my exponent, then it just equals the 5. That's it. That's all we had to do. All right, log base 6. Well, there's our base of 6. And then it equals, the log does, of negative 2. So there's our exponent. Then it equals that 1 over 36, which is true. That Again, that gives us a true statement. So it kind of checks off itself. That's all we wanted on this thing. Okay. <clears throat>